Hello, I'm Archie. Hello, I'm Amy. And we love archery. Get into archery with arrows. And keep watching to find out more about how you can become a sharp shooter. This is an Archery GB guide to Arrows Archery. In this short guide, it covers all the information and all the key things that you need to be able to take part in the Arrow sessions, as well as to be able to deliver them. Within the supporting literature included in your Arrows pack, you will find a reference card to use as guidance, highlighting the key points for simple shooting technique. Arrows Archery is designed to introduce archery concepts and skills through fun activities rather than technical instruction. There is a small element of technical instruction and this video guide will show you the basics of shooting in arrows. By learning the simple technique you will enjoy archery more and it will help you hit the target. So let's have a closer look at the arrows equipment. Each pack includes bows, three arrows for each bow plus three spares, an arm bracer for each bow and three standing double sided targets. We are briefly going to look at the bow and arrow to introduce key archery terms that are useful to know when it comes to explain how to prepare and shoot. On the handle of the bow is the arrow rest. This is where the arrow sits on the bow. By having the arrow rest on both sides of the handle, the bow is suitable for left and right-handed children. Let's have a closer look at the arrow. The main difference to a traditional arrow is the point of the arrow. At the end of the arrow is the knock. This is the part that clips onto the bowstring. The shaft of the arrow then sits on the arrow rest. Now you know some information about the equipment, let's look at preparing to shoot. You can shoot left or right-handed with the equipment. Deciding if you are left or right-handed will depend on your preferred hand and eye dominance. An individual's dominant eye is the eye that you use in preference when focusing, and it is this eye that is used when attempting to aim at a target. To identify eye dominance, overlay your hands at arm's length to produce a small hole to look through. Keeping both eyes open, look through the hole and view an object that is some distance away. Slowly bring the hands back towards your face while still looking at the object through the hole and keeping your head still. Your hands will arrive in front of the dominant eye. If you are right-handed when you write, you are likely to shoot right-handed too. The bow is in the left hand and the bowstring is drawn back with the right hand. Here is a left-handed shooting position. The bow is held in the right hand and the bowstring is drawn back with the left hand. If you are not comfortable shooting, try shooting with your other hand and decide which you prefer. Now you're nearly ready to start shooting. Work in pairs to put on your arm bracer while you are behind the waiting line. An arm bracer is used to keep loose clothing from touching the bowstring and prevent the bowstring contacting the arm. The bracer is fitted to the arm that is holding the bow on the inside of the arm between the elbow joint and the wrist. We will use the point of aim shooting technique which will demonstrate how to use the equipment. To get us shooting this style there are five key stages stance, load, draw, aim and release. We will go through these stages now the stance provides the foundation for shooting technique. A good stance is linked with the letter T, demonstrated with an upright stance and level shoulders and arms. Key points to remember. Stand side onto the target with feet shoulder width apart, astride the shooting line. Body is upright. Weight is equally balanced. Look forward. Take an arrow and click the knock of the arrow onto the bowstring between the knock indicators. The shaft of the arrow sits on the arrow rest. The odd colour fletching at the end of the arrow points away from the bow. The bow arm should be relaxed and the hand holding the bow will be nearest the target. To draw the bow, set your three middle fingers around the string. The string should contact each finger on the first finger crease. Turn your head towards the target. Extend both arms upwards and towards the target and draw the string back to the corner of your mouth. Your shoulders should remain relaxed and down. With your draw hand resting next to the hollow of your cheek and the tip of your index finger touching the corner of the mouth, you are in the anchor position. Maintain this position as you line up the end of the arrow with your target. With the draw hand in the anchor position, relax your fingers. 
As your fingers straighten, the string will release and project the arrow forwards. It's important you maintain your upright posture and keep your arms in position until the arrow hits the target. So there are just five simple steps to shooting in arrows. Stance, load, draw, aim and release. As your technique improves, you can shoot at different targets. Ones that are closer or further away, bigger or smaller. The activities included with the Arrows Pack are designed to provide a variation of target-based games. You're now ready to practice your shooting and well on the way to being a sharpshooter. I wasn't an archer when I started using the equipment but the simple steps make it really easy to get the children into archery quickly and shooting and also you can see improvement in them every lesson that they do. I'm now an archer and I was inspired to train to teach traditional archery.